what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing a much needed like update new year video. I really hope the audio is okay. I tried to film this video once before. I did like a new year's eve get ready with me but the things I talked about I just have changed my mind on so I wanted to do a new video. But there is like a bathroom fan here and if I turn it off then the light goes off too. So I like, have to have this audio. So anyways, I have a lot to talk about. I'm literally getting ready for a date. So we have to talk. Anyways, Merit is gonna help me get ready for this date because they sent me this new little limited set of like essential products. Once again, I've used these before because I did my whole like New Year's Eve get ready with me. But I love my makeup. I just didn't love the things and the boy I was talking about. So we're gonna do this over and talk about a different boy. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna first start out with the Instant Glow Serum. If you guys watched my last video, you guys know my viewfinder is broken, so hopefully this like looks okay. <laughs> my skin looks so glowy after using that serum. Are you kidding me? Like, I press record. So as I'm priming my skin, I should probably just let you guys know what's going on. So basically, I'm single, right? And over winter break, everyone from like my hometown, like high school, like all the single guys, not all of them, but a lot of them, we're like hitting me up, asking to hang out. You know, classic hometown Christmas break story. I hung out with one of these boys. This was like what I was talking about my New Year's Eve. Get ready for me because I thought I was gonna hang out with him, but he ended up using me and ghosting me. So we don't talk about him. And that's why I don't wanna post that video. Cause I was like, oh my God, like he's so nice, blah, blah, blah. But he's not, don't get it twisted. That boy is not gonna be talked about anymore. Oh my God, this story is actually crazy. Cause like everything ties in together. Okay, so we're just gonna start from the beginning. I started working at this little like shop right in my area just like part-time for fun i'm working at the camera shop and then one of the guys from my high school hits me up and is like oh i wish i know whatever and i was like i'm literally not free ever like i work so much the only free time i have is like my lunch break and he's like okay like let me take you on your lunch break so keep that in mind he wanted to take me on my lunch break so at my job i have a little work crush he kind of like flirts with me i flirt with him he's just kind of like a thing you know it's like fun like it's so fun i have a work crush like makes you excited to go to work and whatever so my work crush and i you know have this banter my high school boy comes in to the shop and picks me up and is like hey like we're going out to lunch he comes and picks me up then my work crush is like oh who is this like type thing because he's been flirting with me and i've been like flirting back but then this guy's coming to take me out to lunch high school boy comes in takes me out to lunch brings me back and when i come back my work boyfriend isn't there and so i was like oh like that's so weird like i wonder if he was mad because i had my friend come like take me out to lunch and he's like a guy and i texted him and i was like oh like what happened like why'd you leave whatever he was about hurt that my high school boy took me out to lunch okay so after work i was supposed to go babysit and babysitting actually got canceled because the kids were sick or something so i took my high school boy and i was like oh i actually don't have um like work tonight like i can hang out he's like okay sick and i was like do you want to go see a movie like do you want to like do something what do you want to do and he's been in my apartment before and so he it's called like the pink palace like i call it that and he was like, oh, like, I want to come see the Pink Palace. And I was like, hmm, like, fine, whatever. We can, like, hang out at my house, like, watch a movie or whatever. He was kissing me and things. He was talking about how he's not, like, all the other... He's, like, a D1 football player. And he was talking to me about how he's not, like, all the other football players. And that he's, like, so nice to girls. And, like, he doesn't have a girl out at his school because he just can't find any, like, decent girl because they're all, like, I don't know, users and stuff like that. And so, but he was talking about how he really likes me. He's like for the past like six years and all this stuff. I just kind of like fell into his trap. And then the next day was New Year's Eve and we were, he told me like we were going to hang out and like be each other's New Year's kiss, whatever, right? Work boyfriend was having a New Year's Eve party. I was going to go, but didn't go because I was waiting for my high school boy to text me because I was like, oh, like we just like hung out and like, you know, we're like kissing and like, oh, like we should, we're like, you know, I'm going to be like, if you kiss the night before New Year's Eve, you're probably going to kiss them. New Year's Eve, right? He texted me saying he was gonna like, do stuff with his family, but he'll text me after. He never texted me after. I was sad because, you know, I could have hung out with my work boyfriend and go to his party and like hung out with friends, like bring friends to the party, like had a good time, but I was waiting for my high school boy. I'm also gonna be using the Merit Bronze Bomb that was in my last collab I did with them. It's my favorite bronzer. But I spent New Year's Eve alone, basically, is what I was saying. When I could have spent it with my work boyfriend. And I was really upset about that, and I had FaceTimed and texted um, high school boy, trying to like, get some answers, like, why did he, like, kind of ditch me on New Year's Eve? And he didn't, like, respond back until, like, really, really late. And then he was like, oh, my God, and, like, I was on FaceTime with him. And he said that the reason he didn't text me 
on New Year's Eve to hang out is because he has ADHD and he forgot. Like, I know people with ADHD, I myself maybe have ADHD, like everyone tells me I do. And that's just like, if you like someone, like that's like, I don't know, I just want to use that as an excuse for like why I didn't text somebody, especially on New Year's. Like any other day, if you forget to text me to hang out, I wouldn't care. But like New Year's Eve, like I was waiting for him to text me so that we could like, you know, go out. And I wasn't about to text him because I texted him first like all day and I like wanted him, you know, to like be like, oh, I like you, like I want to like hang out with you. And he had told me he would text me after his family plans and he didn't, whatever. So like, I was just like, oh, he doesn't like me. Like he used me, blah, 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 blah. He ghosts me. I tell him like, that's screwed up, whatever. And then I told his best friend who had liked me in the past that he did that. And then now he's like, not really like on good terms with his high school best friend because of that, which is so like immature and whatever, but whatever. So that's that whole story. Fast forward a couple days. I'm telling my work boyfriend at work about all this drama that happened. And he's like, oh, that sucks. And like, whatever. But he was kind of butthurt because Loki, he wanted to be that guy. Okay, so next I'm just going to use the Merit Highlighter. Uh, this is the shade Bounce Dago Highlighting Balm. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply it to my cheekbone right here. And then like the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose. And then I'm just going to blend that in. Where am I? But yeah, so my work boyfriend is mad that my high school boyfriend treated me like that. I'm like, something's off. And I asked him, I was like, what is off? Like, he's like, oh, you just don't like me. I'm like, we know I do like you. Like, I kind of, like, have a crush on him, whatever. He was like, okay, then, like, let's hang out, whatever. So we went and we saw Avatar. And I wasn't sure if this was a date or not because he didn't, like, pay for my ticket. So I was like, oh, it's not a date. I'm scared if we go to this one movie theater because this one movie theater, I know you could put, like, the little middle divider up and, like, cuddle and, like, share the seat, like, while you're watching the movie. And I was like, okay, as long as we don't go to that movie theater, I'll be fine. So then we went to a different movie theater. And the first thing that happens is that he puts the little middle divider up. I'm like, oh no, like he's gonna try like make a move or something. And that is just not what I wanted to happen. Like I was just like not really feeling it like physically or like after what had just happened with high school boy, like using me and then like not, I just maybe don't wanna like kiss any guys or do anything with any guys like because I just feel like they're gonna leave. I'm a little traumatized by that situation. So I'm at the movies and he's trying to like make moves. He kind of holds my hand, but I was like, oh, your hand's sweaty, whatever. And like, I didn't want to hold his hand. And then, yeah, I was just like, have my arms crossed because I'm just also really awkward if I like somebody. Um, and I just didn't really like him that much while we were at the movies. I don't know. So I just watched the movie and like, it was a good movie. And like, I wouldn't say it was a good date because like, I was just like anxious and like not really knowing what like I was feeling at the time. Afterwards, he literally tried to kiss me and I said, no. <laughs> Because I just didn't want to kiss him. It wasn't the vibe. And I'm glad I didn't because I would have felt worse if I like kissed him because I felt like I had to versus kissing someone because you want to. So I said I didn't kiss him, but I told him like I like am interested in him, like want to like, you know, keep hanging out or whatever. And me and this boy, you know, start hanging out and I've like grown to kind of like like him a little bit. He gave me like a gift. Oh my god. So basically I haven't like it took me so long I did eventually like, kiss this boy but it took me so long to even kiss this boy and he has been putting in the work like I feel so bad for like the amount of like money he spent on Ubers coming like to hang out with me but I guess it's because he likes me or whatever and like I'm just like not used to like putting like that effort you know because with the last guy I was with he put in absolutely zero effort and like literally hated me like I don't even know why we were like a thing or like why he like why I like allowed this to like why I allow myself to be treated like that I don't know but like we went to a fair together and he didn't even hold my hand versus this guy he's very like affectionate and like like patient and like ambitious and like he's just like very different i don't know how to describe it he literally he was like oh like i bought you like a gift and i was like what the fuck like i didn't believe him because my ex would say something like that and then like be lying to me and like ah my heart hurts for like the things i let myself be put through with my ex but i didn't believe him because i like trust I, I guess everyone says they have trust issues but like i really i really i didn't even trust him that he bought me a gift and, like even when he gave it to me i was like did you like did your friend give you that i was like i just didn't believe him that he actually like, bought me a gift and, like thought about me like what and so he bought me this necklace he literally bought me a necklace like he bought me a necklace and we're going on a date right now like i don't know guys i don't know and i, I like always I'm like telling myself like oh I want a boyfriend but like it's actually like a lot of work to have a boyfriend and like talk to them make sure they're feeling okay and all this stuff and like right now that's exactly where I am like do I want to like go through all that like it is nice having someone to like hang out with and like flirt with and you know hug and kiss and all that um like that's nice and like he really likes me and I do like like I'm interested in him I just like like a relationship so much work and like do I really actually want to like commit to that and like that's I think everyone's like problem is like well like hookup culture and stuff, no one actually wants to like put in the work relationship. And then I always say I do, but then now I'm like that I'm put in this situation, I'm like do I? Like, 
I hope I do. That means he has to meet my family, my family is like, and all this stuff. So we'll see. What is going on? I don't know. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, so now I have a boyfriend. No, I'm just kidding. But he literally like was telling me, this is like moving so fast, but he was really telling me that he wants like, you know, down the line to like be my boyfriend. And I was like, what the heck is happening? But I'm glad the like bad situation happened like right before this, because now I'm like guarding myself and I'm more like, you know, timid. Like maybe if a guy randomly was just like taking me on dates, like saying like he really likes me and all this, like I'd be like, yeah, and like jump right into it. But now after like the situation that just happened before, I'm like, I'm gonna take my time and like, you know, be slow with like everything because I don't wanna like jump into something and something goes wrong. Like, I don't know. So now I'm like a little guarded, but like a little excited. It's like so fun. Why on dates? Like, are you kidding me? Especially because my ex treated me so, 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 so horribly that we like didn't really go on dates and stuff and like I'd like beg him to like care about me and like and like like me and this guy like actually like as a person like as a friend like if things like romantically like never happened like that'd be fine because I just like like him as like a best friend I feel like he could be like right now he literally feels like my best friend it's so weird like we literally just met like it's so bizarre um like I haven't even like told like my friends that much about him or anything like a few people but it's just like crazy and I had just downloaded like hinge like like two weeks ago because i was like like a week ago because i was like oh like i'm bored like let's just see like who's out there you know there's a lot of celebrities because i live in like la so like there's so many random celebrities on there um but like now i don't even want to like really get to know anyone i mean people do me but i feel like most people are on there just for like hookups and like i kind of am like dating somebody <laughs> next i'm using this neutral brown pomade i also have the colored version of this but this one is just like um like clear but i love the spoolie on it and how you can just like brush your eyebrows up and like it makes them look like that feathery like perfect you know like non-sticky like just texture like i love this like it just looks like super natural but yeah let's talk about something other than boy drama i feel like that was like the most like fun thing to discuss but there's also like a, a lot of stuff going on in my life like with this new year i kind of have felt like not great especially how i started the year with like that boy thing like i really didn't feel like good about myself and i just was like having a hard time like being motivated this year and like, I still like having you gone to the gym and I just want you guys to know that like it's hard watching everyone be like oh new year new me going to the gym like on my A game all this stuff and like that has just not been my reality this like first couple weeks of the new year and like that's fine like it's good to be motivated and stuff like if you haven't been like completing all your goals like that's fine like you still have like the rest of the year and the rest of your life like I don't want everyone to feel like so much pressure because I felt I feel so much pressure with, with like a new year and it's very overwhelming. It's very exciting at the same time, but I think I know that there's gonna be a lot of change and excitement this year, so that like made me just like overwhelmed. But now that I'm kind of like settling into like my routine and everything for this new year, I feel good about it. Like I literally the first like day was like wow, this is like the worst year ever, and like it was the first day. So everything just takes time, and I've been single for so long too, and like the, like have this be a message that like. There will be someone who can like, you know, put in the effort and it just sucks waiting. I always said that when I was like really depressed and like everyone would be like, oh, it'll get better. Like you'll see the light at the end of the tunnel. But like I was like, but when? Like I hate this hard waiting period and like the waiting period of anything is hard. Like the waiting period of waiting until you're over a heartbreak or waiting until you're over feeling something. Like that sucks. And like that's the worst part. Just trust me. Things will get better. Also, this guy doesn't judge me. Like it's crazy. But I... Well, my ex put me through that. I'm like, now I'm like, wait, why did I let that happen? I don't know. But, like, this guy doesn't, like, judge me at all, which I like. And, like, no guy should, the fuck. But, um, it's just, like, he's just, like, the polar opposite of my ex, which, like, makes me so happy. The restaurant we're going to is actually my cousin's restaurant, um, in L.A. I forget the name of it, but I'll put it on the screen. So if you guys are ever in L.A., go to this restaurant, say I sent you. Not to be like talking about this guy the whole time, but I was like that he's not from here. Like he's not just like, um, I don't know, like he like worked to come out here and like he's like pursuing his dreams and whatever, like that type of vibe, which I think is like really cool. And just a new person to get to know. <gasps> what the f This is a lip color I'm using from Merit. I can't pronounce this, but I think it says a pretty, a pretty, f I don't know. But I love the packaging. It's so like minimal and classic. This color is really pretty because I usually don't go for like reds, but it's like a sheer buildable color. Like I feel like this is perfect for like, the holidays and like, it's not too dramatic. It's just like a subtle neutral like red color. Like I love that. That's so cute. It's a little out of my comfort zone, but like so cute for like the holiday time. I know the holidays are technically over, but I feel like it's the holidays 
the whole winter, you know, right? Like, I don't know. All right, and I only said my eyelashes last, so I'm just curling my eyelashes, and I'm going to use this Merit Mascara. This is in the shade Perfect Black. It's their Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara, so let's give it a try. I'd say it's a good result. Okay, so I just finished my look. I just kind of did that to my hair. I don't know, I'm really bad at doing my hair, but that's what I did. This is my makeup, courtesy of Merit Beauty. I really like it, it's like different. Like I never, I usually like the same lip color, but I actually really like this one. Like I feel like it's giving like old Hollywood for some reason. I think it's like my hair. I think my hair with like the red lip is like kind of doing something to me. Anyways, I'm just wearing this top, it's thrifted, and then I'm wearing these really interesting pants they're like low rise like super baggy like cargo pants i'm pairing them with my little fall jordans i also might put like a puffer over because it's like super super cold okay this is my outfit it's so boring actually but it's cold out so it's hard for me to like put together outfits because all my shirts are like crop tops i also kind of feel like a boy but like in a cool way i hope i feel like i should have done something with my hair because my hair like what do i do with my hair guys i never know it's just long and like i don't know if it ever looks good but also, I really, my viewfinder's broken. Like, do you guys see what I see? It's really annoying because I can't see what I'm recording. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you to Merit for helping me create this look. I'll leave a discount code and all the links and everything down below. But I love you guys. Wish me luck on my date. Hopefully this angle is fine. I literally cannot see anything. All right, bye. Mwah.